My name is Ro Cogliano, and I am the mother of six children, ages 40-something to almost 24. I discovered I had cancer while shopping. My daughter had, was engaged, and we were planning to go to an engagement party in New York City. All the kids were in school, and I went shopping for a dress and found it immediately, the dress that I needed. It was like, wow, this is great. I have an hour off, now I'll do some underwear shopping. And trying on bra after bra after bra, there was something there that I knew shouldn't be there. And so I actually, it was the lymph node that I found, not the lump in my breast. Well, the initial reaction was, I'm not telling anybody about this because we got this engagement party, so I am not taking the thunder away from my daughter. Um, and then, this is tough, just to, then it was, I've got two little girls. My daughter was like 12, and Emily was like nine years old. And Emily has Down syndrome, and it was, oh man, I, I can't do this. This can't happen. These kids need me too much. I've got to just get over it, get through it, do what I have to do, and move on. My very dear friend um, kind of swooped in and organized our friends. And so people cooked for us. People drove my kids if they needed rides. Um, they, they did everything. You know, my neighbor would call and say she was going food shopping. You know, did you need any food? Did you want, do you want me to come in and wash the kitchen floor? I mean, we have, we really live in a really nice neighborhood and a number of us moved in around the same time and our kids kind of grew up together. So I was really fortunate. There was a real camaraderie and also having six kids, you know, by the time I had cancer, everybody in town knew one of the kids or another. So, you know, people would ask my husband or if they saw me, what can I do? And I would just say, call Ruthie and she'll tell you what you can do. And that's what happened. And we really had a tremendous amount of, amount of support. Just, you know, just to find those meals at the door, you know, to have the food, but to know that people were really kind of supporting was, was fabulous. If you look on my refrigerator, my motto, which came with Emily, which was many years before the breast cancer, is, there's a, a kid's sign there that says hope. And in the face of uncertainty, there's nothing wrong with hope.